So in this lesson, the main objective is to resize the image using the image intervention intervention package. But before that, I will change the name of the app, which is I forget from the previous lessons should be changed. So if we go to the code and then we go to the .env file, then we're going to change the name like YouTube-clone. So once we do that and refresh to restart because we changed the .env file, and then we go again and the name is changed so uh, we will configure or install this package which is basically will provide us the ability to uh, do some resizing and also some converting of the image to to the format png so if we go to the installation we're going to require through composer so we'll go to the either we go to the visual code or we go to the command line so composer require image intervention and once that installed also we have to do some configuration which is basically if we go to the Laravel side we have to go to the provider which is config uh, inside config app.php we we'll go to config app.php we go to the providers down we need to add this line for image intervention And also we have to add the facade, which is basically image. So we'll be able to use it through the facade anywhere. Aliases, we go here and just put it here. So we have added these things. And then also we can publish the configuration using this command as well. Then we go back and okay. So the configuration also publish inside this the configuration folder so we are ready with these things so the first thing we have to check if the image is available or not in the blade or in the template so we can display it here but before that as well we said we're gonna do the resizing of the image so inside the class if we go to the live wire channel and edit here here we are going to do the conversion so we'll do the image conversion after uh, getting the file so we can also grab the image name we can say image name explode because this is will be an array and the partition for this will be backslash i mean from here if you notice that when we store it in the database for the file we mentioned the previous it will be like this with the folder name so we will get only the name we could do this one through the export method explode and then the image and then we'll take the first item or the second item which is basically the name of the image so this one the image name and then after that we'll do the converting so we'll take the image resize and convert to png if we go to the site we can go to the image intervention we go to the fit function here and this one is going to go into crop and resize the the image we will use this function at the end I hope it's clear here which is basically it will fit with a certain size and then it will retain a constraint which is basically it will retain the maximum original size of the image using the up size so this is what we are going to use if we go back so the first thing we need to get the image so we can say image equal image facade and then make storage bath then we can concatenate with app so we can get the folder name and then the image which is we get it from the previous we call it the image which is the folder with the folder this is if we want to install it of course installed and in or updated on the database so we'll get the image but we need to use the image here facade image like this so once we get the image then we will do the encoding so we'll do the encoding or we don't want to ink in this one so we'll do encode to png as well as we will do the fit the command or the function fit we mentioned in the 
from the this line we can take this one fit and then we can copy it here so we'll fit by 80 let's go by 80 by 80 so this is the image then it will change it and then we're gonna save it so we can save the image like this or we can save the image only without the folder i prefer maybe this way because in the future if you want to have some idea about or different way of restoring the image then you are going to use this way so it will only the, store the image so let's go and try this one we'll go and do something like could be this image and then update so if we go to the storage right now and then go down storage so we have the image and then we can just open it in images so resizing is not working so this must be something wrong still the image is big so if we go to the code and check it looks that I forget to save the image here so we have to add the save and let's go back and check again on the site Let me refresh go back select the same image to overwrite it of course to the update we go to the because I'm open from the finder so hopefully this will be now small so small size so this is working fine so next step I want to show the image here if, the, if there is an image I would like to show it here also up so we go to the command uh, to the to the visual code and also go to the I mean the form and we inside the form we can keep something like it will check if the image is there or not then it will it will display it so we can go even before the before the form and just do the if statement if channel image is there and then end if let's do something like image and inside the source of course I'm going to do some links here but I will show asset uh, images we will do how we'll check how we can do that through the sim links so we can concatenate then we can see the channel image image like this so and if here so we will we will add, we will have to also make sure that this link is also included in the public folder through the file system we can configure the if we go to the file system file system and inside the link or this one we have to do the storage we need to add something for the images so images we can do app inside app images okay so images folder it will map it to the app images anything inside the public folder images then it will take the storage path app images if we go to our form we'll say it also asset images and then inside this one we have to do the backslash of course and backslash should be like this and then the channel image if we notice also here I refresh then the image without the folder that's why we are making it this way here so but we need to uh, in order to do that we need to do the link I think uh, we have to publish the link or storage link we can say storage link if I'm not mistaken so the link is created so we can go now and refresh hopefully it work so something wrong in the explore expecting this one okay something wrong on I think I put here one extra comma so now it should be fine let's refresh so I have the image here so my image is there and then everything is fine so if I include also another image which is basically the Raval image for example and then update then and if I go to fresh then 
this should be also refreshed if I go back to the course at and then it will refresh sometimes it takes some time I think because of the caching but the image is updated